Hi, in this week's vlog, we linked up with The Sound Doctor, a company who present information in a meaningful and accessible way so that people can understand their own health and conditions better. This video explores back pain and is designed for fitness professionals to give to their clients so you can share accessible content in your own newsletters and social media. We hope your clients find it useful. I think people are afraid, people are frightened of moving because it hurts and they're frightened if they move they'll make it worse. And all the evidence shows, and there's lots of studies looking at this now, shows that um, exercise is positively good for back pain and rest actually paradoxically can make it worse and prolong it. Activity is far more important than um, lying down and waiting for it to get better. And that's based on the fact that the spine at every level, particularly in the neck and the lumbar region, is supported by muscles and muscles alone. Without the muscles we'd fall in half or your head would fall off. So you need the muscles. And if the muscles are not used, they become wasted, smaller, weaker, and the back pain gets worse because the spine becomes unsupported. So activity and specific exercises for the back muscles and the abdominal muscles which also support the spine. If you sit in an armchair, and relax and just watch the telly, then you're gonna get a bad back because that's the wrong position to be in anywhere. Get yourself up, get out, walk the dog, go, go, go and do things, go out, visit places, tour around, as long as you try to keep yourself fit. When you've done some exercise or been out in the fresh air, gone for a walk, it just makes you feel better, you feel lighter, you feel more ready for the world. It's a really good idea to get into some sort of regular exercise routine, even if it's only going for a walk for 10 or 20 minutes every day. It's a really good idea to do something on a regular basis. If you can, you should exercise as frequently as possible, not to the extent that you're giving yourself pain, because when you start exercising, it will hurt. And a lot of people will believe that if the exercises they're doing hurt them, that they're doing themselves harm. They're not. I'm not a particularly sporty person, so it's a bit more difficult for me to pursue a more active lifestyle, but when I'm out doing something active, I just know that it's helping me in the long run. There are lots of things you can do to stay active. One is to uh, climb the stairs rather than take the lift. Uh, another is to park further away from the entrance to the supermarket. And a lot of people enjoy running. I've no idea why, but they do. The repetitive impact of running on a hard surface puts repetitive strain through the discs, which are there to try and absorb it. If the discs are degenerate, they can't absorb it. And it can make back pain worse. Not every time, but it can make back pain worse. So I tend to advise you, for instance, if you wanted to say, well, I must exercise. Swimming, cycling, walking, avoidance of impact. Pilates is a really, really um, popular form of exercise. A lot of it is done lying down and it's focusing on core strength. If we've got good core stability, that is going to help tremendously in protecting our low back when we're moving around. I can come to work, I can go home aching, you know, really aching, really stiff and uncomfortable. I'll do 20 minutes of these exercises and I'm fine. You should be thinking of introducing a daily programme of specific exercises. Um, there are any number of these, they go by a number of names, McKenzie exercises, core stability exercises. They're all aimed at keeping the back mobile and at the same time restoring or improving the strength in the muscles that support your back. If you are a low back pain sufferer, you know, every morning you need to do your little back routine, wake your back up, stretch it out, get it going before you start working. And if you can find 10 minutes a day to do them, once or twice a day preferably, you will significantly reduce your chance of recurrent or chronic back pain. I do exercises every day, pretty much, certainly five or six days a week, and ideally um, at least 20 minutes, half an hour. It's not one of the keys, it is the key message. Because if you allow the joints to stiffen up, they will inevitably become uncomfortable. 